Ayo, Andy here. I just wanted to give you a cheeky update of a new product that I just released. It is basically a companion to the new StreamUp OBS plugin. So inside the StreamUp OBS plugin, there is a lot of features that people might not necessarily know about. So we've got this WebSocket command section, and we've got loads of things like lock all sources, lock all sources on um, current scene, refresh audio monitoring, browser sources, all that jazz. We've got get blended method, set blended method, Basically, there's a lot of things in here that isn't actually available in WebSocket at the moment. So I added it into StreamUp that you can use. So we've got like get show transition, get hide transition, set show, set hide, also copy and paste show and hide transitions. So you can set that up on a hotkey or, or something like that. It's literally up to you how you want to use this. But there are a lot of like things there. So I've basically saved you guys a hot bunch of time and created you a nice little product inside of StreamerBot that has all of these already configured, ready to go. So as you can see, if you want to say open scene, um, scene filters, I'll uh, just press this test button, boom, that opens the filters on the scene, which normally isn't like a hotkey or something like that inside of uh, OBS. And that works the same for like, if you want to select the source that you've got, a really cool one that I like is the get VLC current file. So this is a free download, but please consider supporting. You just grab it from the stream up website just here. Uh, you just literally create an account is free. And then you just press download. And that's that's pretty much it. All the info of everything that it covers is just here. Just a little note to you guys that transition copy and paste will only work on version 2.1.3, which is not released just yet. I'm just waiting a few seconds because I have got a uh, a big beta coming out of the StreamUp OBS plugin because I am adding a huge, huge, huge feature to it, um, which is going to be for um, supporters. And this is just insane. It will allow you to edit multiple uh, filters at once. You can. It's called Source Explorer. And it has all the sources information, so you don't have to keep going into different tabs and windows and things like that to get all the info, like transform. It's all built into one. So that's going to go out for all supporters of me or uh, stream up. So you definitely have a think about that. And you also get this beautiful OBS theme as well for supporting. But yeah, 2.1.3 is going to be a free update. I just need to do some things before it releases. So installing it is super easy. If you've used StreamerBot before, you just press import after you've downloaded it and then go to the downloads folder, which wherever I have decided to put mine now. Some people would think I get ready for these videos, but <laughs> preparation, what's what's that? So I've got all the StreamerBot products just here. We've got it's called OBS plugin commands and we just go to the bot install obviously make sure you got the stream up plugin and you just drag and drop the SB file into here and it will uh, load it all in just there and you just press import if you're not able to uh, drag and drop it's usually like an admin privilege thing so you can just double click to open it open it in uh, in notepad or something like that and you'll be able to see it all here you just copy and then paste it into this just here and it'll do the exact same thing uh, and then just press import so when it comes to using them the some of them are a little bit technical uh, for instance if you're doing say refresh audio monitoring that is just uh, you just test trigger that's it it that's it it runs it only does that there's nothing to return from it there's nothing being sent to it super easy but things like set hide and set show transition you need to get more information and data but never fear, I've just opened the wrong browser. Uh, I've compiled a list in this documentation just here, which, well, let's just say I didn't do it uh, because I wasn't sitting here and writing all this out. But this has all of the data that each one of these expects. So it'll tell you exactly what we need. So you see how this is called, say, if we look at, let's look at show hide transition, shall we? So if I move down to show hide transition, uh, which should be in transition management and you'll be able to see all these different ones here so um, get show transition it'll say it gets the transition type the settings the duration and whether or not it's successful if we're setting it it gets the scene name source name transition type and then the settings and then the duration and this will actually tell you everything that it expects so inside of streamer bot we basically just need to say right scene name 
is such and such. So I'll do one on a smaller type. So I'll go, uh, let's try something a little smaller that's not going to be over complicated. So I'll do open source properties, right? Um, in fact, that doesn't expect anything. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, there was one that I really wanted to show you that was really simple, uh, but I've lost where I've put it. Um, where are you? Uh, we'll say uh, we we'll set uh, deinterlacing. Yeah. No, set down mix mono. Because if I do get down mix mono and press test, we go to the previous actions. So the action history just here, and open this up to have a look at the variables you would see source not found because we've not sent the data of the source in there. So the way that we do that, you've got a couple of choices and this goes throughout all of the, the different things on here, depending on what it is. You can either modify this to be something. Um, so you could like do argument, set the arguments early doors and then run it. Or the, the, the way that I think most of you might prefer to do it is to create a new... Um, action and we'll call it I'll just call this test action and I'll just put it in the uh, the no group section so it's right at the top and what we can do is set whatever source we want in here so if I go to uh, the search actions just here and type in arg you'll see core arguments set arguments so this is set in the variable and I've made sure everything's got the same name. So we choose the scene name, source name, transition type, transition settings, transition duration. But we're going to be doing the, uh, I think I said deinterlacing, didn't I? So if we go up here and find deinterlacing, which will probably be under the source properties. Uh, let's find set. We'll, we'll do blending method since it's there. Why not? It's all the same. So we've got source name, scene name, and method. So I'm going to set the, the source name here as color so that's it and we'll add another argument so i'll just duplicate this one i'm going to duplicate it twice because we've got different data we need the scene name which is just scene uh, so this will work on any scene name so we'll do this and we'll type in scene name again this just follows the data here and we've got method so usually with this one um oops uh, this one is usually just default most of the time, or it's srgb underscore off, which again, this is all documented in, in the WebSocket just here. So if we go down, you'll see this is either default or srgb off. So if I type that in, obviously this is a bit of a boring example, um, just like that. So that sets source name, scene name, and method. And we can then go to the run the action. So I don't know why I'm typing it in. I can just search it like this. And we'll look for a uh, blending mode. So set blending uh, method. Just here, press select, uh, run action immediately. And I'll just add this to just a test button just here. So now if I run this, that should change the blending method to sRGB off. And it's the same again if I do um, the, the same thing, but for the other way around. So if I do, uh, the, um, blending method and set it back to default, like so, and then run it again and test it, you'll see that this now has gone back to default, uh, which is pretty cool. It, uh, so th that just kind of runs the exact same for every single one of these, depending on what it is that you want to do. Uh, but since I've added all this data, um, there's easier ways of doing this as well. Uh, there is one called get selected source. So if I select a source in OBS, I'll just use a different one. I'll use this one just here. So I'm selecting this source. So it's highlighted, you know, it's selected. I'll press test on get selected source, go to my action history, open it up and look at this. It's got exactly which source is selected. So you can utilize that in the commands that you're building up to go, oh, this is the, the, selected source, I can use that. It's a really handy one. I use it a lot for pulling certain data very quickly from a source that I've got selected, or if I want to copy and paste certain fields, it's really cool. So you can kind of get a bit nitty gritty with this and, and go pretty deep. Obviously, this is probably more for the advanced users out there, but it's, it's a nice kind of thing to have. Uh, all the information about it, like I say, is all here, which is really handy. But then there's also all the data in the API as well. Um, so the uh, 
WebSocket documentation just here. So all the things that you can do with it are there. And this is something that I keep adding to. Um, like I say, it's a very technical kind of the thing that I've added, but I hope some of you will find it useful, especially like the copy and paste show and hide transitions that takes forever. You know, like when you're having to go right click, show transition, find the transition, then type in the how long you want the transition for. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of effort. Whereas on this, we can just press cool, copy show transition by just pressing a hotkey or whatever we set up. Don't forget as well that you can actually set these up on your stream deck as well. So if you're using a stream deck, you can just set them up on there. Use this streamer bot uh, plugin for Stream Deck. Connect it all up, uh, all that jazz. And if we search for this action, so I'm going to select the, uh, we're in the, uh, which dev builder we in now? We're in this one, I believe. Uh, if I search for the action that I want, which will be the, we'll say copy, um, we should find the copy show transition just here. Uh, and we'll leave that there. And then I'll uh, copy this as well, duplicate it there. And I will uh, paste the show transition this time. So I'll search for uh, paste, paste show transition. So we've got one for copy and we've got one for paste and we'll give it a go. So if I go in here, set the uh, the show transition to, I don't know, we'll, we'll go slide. Um, and it also persists for, for the time as well. So I'll do 3000 on this one and then I'll press the copy button. So that's it, it's copied. I'll go over to here and I'll press paste on there. Now if I right click, go show, boom, slide 3000. That is so much easier. So like I say, there, there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize this. And if there's anything that you wish you had a shortcut in OBS, please let me know and I'll add it into the plugin in a future update as well. Whoa, that was uh, a bit brain ache, that one. So hopefully it's helped you. Make sure you do like the video and subscribe. It'd be wicked to get to 30K subs. That's, that's the next goal. And hopefully I'll see you over my live streams at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Put your rock into the stone.